ECNOV9. He wants me to make a fish, ride a fish, ride a fish, ride a fish. All right. So what I have here is exactly what you suggested. Salmon mob riding a salmon mob, riding a salmon, riding a salmon, and so on. EC. I'm going to call you that from now on, EC. So I'm going to summon this, change the whole well to water, and they all fall down like a pyramid, like the group of children ringing around a rosy. Um... Okay, so let me uh, let me demonstrate this before I have a bit of fun here. <laughs> so let me summon this first of all. Come on, Salmon. You know what me to do this. You have a lot of companions, but who doesn't want to be a socialite? So, Salmon on top of a Salmon, top of a Salmon. So they're all okay because I have this command that is uh, making them be okay. This one's just for COD, but Salmon look cooler. So they will be fine. They're not suffocating. They're not dying for lack of water. So they're they're fine until I um I enable this data pack, which is gonna make everything water. So I'm essentially in water now. The salmon, while they won't swim because they're still in air, they'll take up this form. So they will float up a little bit and then they'll be upright. Uh, the reason for this is because they're in a waterlogged uh, environment. Now I'm gonna disable that. So disable the data pack and they'll fall. And while they're in that waterlogged state, they will dissociate. So they won't be riding each other anymore. So as soon as I disable the data pack, they'll all fall down. And so I have this uh, running, like so. Uh, I just put the delay there so it actually lasts a bit longer. And then they fall. EC, is that what you want me to do? <laughs> That's exactly what happens when fish ride fish. I can disable that if you want. But they'll just die. So let's uh, let's get rid of this, and um, let's get rid of this. So this is what normally happens. They'll just suffocate. All right, <laughs> totally unplanned. These are very capricious little uh, entities here. All right, come on. If I wanted to sum more than one tower of salmon, I would have done it by now. But it's really difficult. No. All right, so we have two towers. They look like the those um. Those bullets, you know, well, you know what I'm talking about. All right, here we've got three. We've got three towers of fish, and so we're gonna tr uh, we're gonna make the air waterlogged, so they will start swimming. And notice these guys also levitate a little bit, and then they all collapse. It's so fun. You know they're not dying, right? These guys are not conforming at all. So this is what you would expect, right? So let's go over to a world where it's actually water and not just waterlogged air. And we'll see whether this behaves the same way. All right, let's do this. And always active. Yeah, so they dissociate immediately. And I thought that would happen because if you're in water, normally the passengers will just disappear. So the only way to do this is to make it in air but actually make it waterlogged so that, that you could actually see the fish survive. But they will dissociate in that regard, but they won't swim away like they're doing right now in water. So we can just activate this again. Yeah, and they all just explode. No fun. It'd be more fun in a test world. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for your suggestion. EC. That's, that's pretty crazy. I wanted to try it. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you've blown my mind. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe for more creative content. Take care.